I'd like to tell you a true story about why fall prevention is so important here at our hospital. We had a gentleman that had a knee replacement at our hospital not too long ago, and he had a femoral nerve block, which means that his leg was very numb and very weak after surgery. He called me into his room about two hours after his surgery, and he asked me if he could get up out of the bed. He said his back was hurting. He said he wanted to get up and take some deep breaths. He would like to just sit up in the chair for a little while. Of course, I evaluated his leg to see how strong the nerve block still was, and I could tell he couldn't lift his leg off the bed. It still uh, felt very uh, numb to him, so I knew that we had to be very careful. We always have two people that help you up the first time you get out of bed after surgery. So we helped him stand up, and when he did, he put weight on his affected leg, on his surgery leg, and he said it kind of felt like he was standing in jello, which is very normal when you have a nerve block. You can't really feel your foot on the ground, and your leg will buckle when you put weight on it. So we helped him safely over to his chair, and he felt very good sitting up out of the bed. I told him, you can sit up as long as you want, but it's very important that when you want to get up out of the, out of the chair to get back in the bed that you call us. You cannot try to do this by yourself. He said okay and basically what I gave him was a nurse call button. It plugs into the wall next to your bed, it controls your TV channels, it controls the volume, it even controls the light above your bed. And I said when you are ready to get up out of that chair I want you to hit that nurse call button and that will call the front desk and you can let them know that you're ready to get back in bed. Please do not try to get up by yourself. He told me that he understood and I went over to see another patient down the hallway. I got a call about 45 minutes later and they told me that it was an emergency and that I needed to get back to hit to this patient's room. I, I got there, I kind of already expected what had happened. He didn't try to stand up all the way out of his chair but he just tried to basically lift and reach for something uh, because he didn't want to bother the staff and when he did that he put too much weight on that leg and it buckled underneath him and his knee hit flat on the floor. And it was a bad situation. He had fallen, his knee was open on the floor, he was at risk for an infection. Uh, they had to rush that patient down to the operating room and they had to clean his leg out and they had to replace what they had just spent three hours doing earlier in the day. So he had two surgeries within five hours that day. Absolute disaster. That is the worst thing that could happen to you after a joint replacement or after a spine surgery. The good thing about this story for you at home is that it's very easy to prevent. All you have to do is let the staff do their job and call them instead of putting yourself in harm's way.